Good morning all, this is Eric with Shadow Ops RC. I just wanted to show you guys some of the progress I've made. Uh, I've got the head all together on my Blade 400 here. Um, parts are scarce for this heli since they don't make it anymore. Um, I was able to find this Copter X head on eBay. And to get it to work, the only thing I had, I couldn't use their head or sorry, swash plate. But I was able to pull the balls off and get the stock blade one to work. Sorry, it's not focusing very well. Um, and all I had to do to get the stock blade head main shaft to work is I had to just shorten a little bit so the screw hole up here would line up. Um, but I'll show you real quick what the KDS Flyman Torch system is. So that's the computer right there um, that all your servos plug into. And then it has wires that go to your receiver that come off the back of it right here. Um, it has an optical lens so I can tell how close to the ground it is. And then you, it comes with a gyro, and then it comes with a programmer. But when I get that all wired up, it will auto level. So if you let off the sticks without dropping the throttle all the way down, it'll auto level. RC helicopters like this that don't have a gyro will maintain whatever control you told them unless you correct. So having the fly mentor will... I have gotten her off the ground, but trust me, being a big helicopter, when you crash, it breaks... A lot of these pieces up here and I'm tired of having to replace them and I'm they're getting harder and harder to find so I'll be able to fly her without destroying her um, but I want to show you guys something that everybody should have in their hangar you don't have to have this specific one but you should have some sort of servo tester okay you can test your motors with it too so I'm going to show you guys why it's important to have this. I have to set the phone down just for a minute so I can plug everything in. This was the motor that was in the heli that I would previously accidentally shorted a battery with. And I want to show you guys why it's important to test what you have. Okay. I'm just plugging it in guys so you can see. Make sure it's turned all the way down so you don't have the motor come to live on you when you don't want it to. Okay, so see, I've got everything lit up here. I had to take the plastic off of this because I thought it was the ESC at first, and it's not. It's the motor. Because I have a spare motor that I tested, and it worked fine with the ESC. So, watch what happened when we turn this on. Oh, that's funny. Yesterday, when I tested it, it would pulse. Oh, see what it's doing? I have the throttle on and it's not working. It's working now. Hang on a second. It's working now, which yesterday it would just pulse. Which has me puzzled. And the ESC got super warm really quick, but it's working now. So I actually have two good working motors. I'll just um, get some clear shrink wrap to put back on this and we'll be fine. But as you guys saw, it's working fine today. I don't know why it was pulsing yesterday. That's good. And that motor worked great too, so I have two good motors. Ah, that makes me happy. I, huh. For whatever reason, the motor is assigned to work now. So, there you go. And with this tester, you can use an auxiliary power source for it. I just use this power pack out of one of my nitro cars. It, with four double A's, it's enough to run servos. 
but when you run a motor it's not enough so if you use the lead from the ESC it will prevent too much power from going in here to blow this because it's got an internal BEC that won't allow it only gives you a couple of volts which is all this this tester I have is rated for um, but uh, there you go that's what I've been working on just ordered some new glow plugs today for my natural car um, here soon once I get my stimulus check I'll be getting a 1A skull red cat racing um, earthquake 3.5 nitro truck it has an SH21 and what that means is it's a 0.21 cubic inch or 3.5 cubic centimeter big block RC nitro motor that's anywhere between one and a half to two horsepower depending on fuel and RPM um, but I'll be ordering that next week once stimulus check comes um, but other than that, this is Shadow Up RC signing out.